123 Toy back at you from TD Audio. And here we have some really cool drivers in front of us, some Dayton reference series. What are we gonna do with them? Guys, I have a really cool project with them right after this. All right, guys, so I was talking with Impulse Audio. If you're not familiar with Impulse Audio, you need to go ahead and subscribe to his channel. And there's a reason for that. One, he has a fantastic channel that's also around speaker building, so you would really love it. Two, we're, this is going to be a video part series, meaning that he's going to do some of the videos and I'm gonna be doing some of the other videos. And his videos are gonna include frequency response graphs inside our test enclosure that you can download and play along with as you go. Now, if you want to know what we're going to be doing ahead, that's kind of what this video is all about. Let's talk a little bit about the project that we have going on. You can see that we have some tweeters and some woofers here. If you have been watching the channel, then you know that I just got done building a really nice build with Kirby Meets Audio. That build came out really, really good. And I put them in my living room and both me and Impulse Audio were thinking, hey, you know what? We both need some rear surrounds. Why don't we make some rear surrounds that would match those towers? And so that's what we're doing. And although these are gonna be considered rear surrounds, they're actually just going to be like a mini bookshelf. So you can use these as front speakers as well if you have a smaller living area and or don't want big speakers. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the drivers and some of the videos to come. All right, guys, so the drivers that we're gonna be using is the reference series um, tweeter that we used in the Kirby build. So for those of you who aren't familiar with it, this is the RST28F-4. It is a fabric driver. It is a four ohm driver. It is a really nice tweeter that can cross over really low and should hopefully maintain the same timber as the speakers that we have in the Kirby build. So if any of you guys have built that build, these would be the surrounds that would go with that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the woofer. Now we wanted to make sure that since these were gonna be used for like theater use, we wanted to make sure that they could maintain an eight ohm load. And so that's where these come in. These are the RS125-8. Now if you're unfamiliar with why you can use an eight ohm woofer and a four ohm tweeter and maintain a nominal eight ohm load, watch this video, that will explain it to you. For those of you who've already seen that or already have that knowledge, this is the woofer we're going to be using. Now, why did we choose this? We chose this for a couple reasons. One, it's a five inch woofer. It's not very expensive, so this should be a fairly budget build. We wanted to make sure this is budget friendly. It's an aluminum cone and the same series that matches the drivers that we used in the Kirby Meets Audio build. So why is that so important? Well, the looks will all be congruent, so you can have that, and hopefully also the timber and the matching will sound really good as well. Now I chose a five inch because the box size will be relatively small, and any of you guys that are using you know, rear surrounds, you don't need to have a huge box, at least that's what we're hoping for. Um, these also, we're hoping, will be able to be ported down to 80 hertz. Now, why is that so important? Well, that's important for a couple reasons. Main reason is we can cross over at THX standards, hopefully at 80 hertz. But the other reason is for those of you who want to use these as front speakers, you can use these hopefully as front speakers as well. So if, for those of you who want like a smaller surround sound setup, you can do that. So that's a little bit about drivers. So what are some of the videos coming to you? Let's go ahead and talk about these because I think you're gonna be really excited about these. And this is why I wanna make sure that you've subscribed to Impulse Audio. Some of the videos will be on his channel and some of the videos will be on mine. So in order to see them all, you're going to want to subscribe to both channels. So some of the videos I think you're gonna be really excited about. We have one video that I'm really excited and I can't wait to tell you about. A lot of people ask, what's the difference between a complicated crossover and a very simplistic crossover? So we're gonna do a video on that. We're gonna take these exact same drivers, we're gonna do one complicated crossover and we're gonna do one very simplistic crossover to show you the difference. And hopefully we'll be able to show you the difference in both frequency response and sound quality. All right, guys, um, we also have some videos, of course. We're going to do a final build and sound test on these. I think you'll be really excited to see that. And, of course, I told you already, Impulse Audio is going to test these inside its test enclosure and give you the FRD and ZMA files. 
Cool thing about that is while we're working on our crossovers, if you guys want to play around with them, you can as well. Then you can see what you come up with, which would be really fun to do. So make sure that you've downloaded XSIM or PCD so that way you can do some of this crossover work with us. Now, if you want to get these drivers, there's links down in the description below. Maybe you want to get these so that you can kind of walk along the process with us. Hey, we would love to see that and we'd love to get your opinions as well. All right, guys, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and are excited as I am about what's to come. Now, I just want to give a special shout out and thank you to all my patrons that are following me. I can't wait. We are having that garage sale in November to get rid of some of my old stock. And so I'm really excited for that for you guys. And I want to thank you for everyone that has been supporting the channel, that has been watching the videos, subscribing, liking the videos. It really means a lot to me. And also those of you who have bought some of my new merchandise, you guys have done really, it's just great to see the amount of people that are supporting me. And I really appreciate it. I know that you guys want more videos like this. So always let me know what type of videos you want and we will try to get those on there. Thanks guys and have a great day.